It's now early March, and I've set up a small office in the garage so that I can both do my work and keep an eye on what's going on at the building site. I've made the office out of OSB board and the windows from the old house that I demolished. Inside I've got everything I need, um, wireless internet connection, my laptop, a printer, and all the plans up on the wall ready to go. It's a great view sat here because I can look out onto the fabulous view with the heater on and just keep an eye on what everyone's doing. This is um, my digger and over here this is where I've just had the digger just leveling out this area here as you see I've leveled it out quite well unfortunately this is my new house and this is where I've sort of had a bit of an accident with my digger and sort of clipped the house not really looking quite as good as it should not sure that the brick layers are going to be that chuffed with me in the morning I wonder whether you could explain what you're doing Matt oh, no, <laughs> some hid idiot hit it with a digger or something I think the less said about that particular incident the better the next day it was time for the groundworks guys to come back and lay them the concrete slabs that go in the middle of the floors the first thing they had to do was lay expansion board around the outside. This expansion board allows the concrete to move without um, cracking or breaking. They then did the same trick as before, which was loading up a digger with its bucket on the wrong way and tipping the concrete into the slab area. An army of guys raked all the concrete into position and it was then checked for level with a, a laser spirit level. The final job was they used this extraordinary long float to be able to just smooth down all the concrete and make sure it got a good finish. amazing the skill that these guys have to be able to manoeuvre around such a small site and then to be able to tip the concrete into exactly the right position in exactly the right quantities. It's pretty impressive to see. of the house goes down a hill and so for building regulations it wasn't possible to simply fill it with concrete so here we have to make an elevated floor that is ventilated. Now this is done with precast beams and blocks but first the skimmer concrete was put onto it. The concrete was given about 48 hours to dry and then the guys came back and um, this time to put in place the reinforced concrete I-beams and add the blocks to make the elevated floor. This basically involved putting the beams at the correct spacing and then um, just simply putting building blocks into the gaps. It didn't take long before the whole floor had been completed. A small row of bricks to hold the internal partitions and it was time for Amy and the boys to come and inspect the work and see what they thought. I think they're impressed. Jamie, what do you think to your new house? Jamie, come and show me the playroom. He must be excited, waiting for the timber kit to arrive next.